I just finished watching the fifth episode of America's Next Top Model, and I'm legitimately angry. I'm really angry. But I'm gonna talk about the episode, kind of give you my thoughts about what happened and where this season is going because I really have some concerns about what's happening on America's Next Top Model. All right, so last week Chris Leanne won Best Photo, which was a huge surprise, but they did have to take their own selfies, and she is a social media guru. So we all knew she was going to do really well, and she ended up doing really well. This week, the models go straight into a little challenge with La Roach, where he asks them what their personal style is and makes them come in an outfit that describes their personal style. Everyone looks pretty good. Some of the girls don't do as well. Gia doesn't do very well just because she doesn't have clothes. How can you fault someone for not being able to afford to go buy clothes? I don't get it. Kyle looks like she always would, but for some reason they are super harsh on her and say that you gotta find something unique about yourself. Corianne really just looked the same as she always does. There wasn't anything special about her outfit. I don't know. A lot of the other girls did really well. Benta looked amazing. Tatiana looked really good. Courtney looked pretty good. Marissa looked her style that she described. Ultimately, Tatiana won the challenge, and that's kind of the first time that Tatiana has become a competitor in the competition. There is still some drama going on in the house with Courtney. She is complaining about everything. She's making excuses for things that are going on. A lot of the girls don't like her. This is about the time in the show where they've been there for maybe 15 days, 16 days, in the actual competition, so Emotions kind of are on edge with living with that amount of people for that amount of time. So this is about the time when the drama starts becoming a little bit more aggressive and not everybody's gonna be lovey-dovey, I love you, mwah, 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 let's be best friends. That's not what's gonna happen at this point in the competition. The models go to a grocery store where they find out that they're gonna be doing a avant-garde photo shoot and these outfits are freaking incredible. I am obsessed with every outfit everyone wore. Um, when Cody came out, she nailed it. Tatiana did a really good job. Paige, I didn't like the photo they chose for her, but I thought she was doing a really good job. Kyle, I thought her photo was really good. I didn't think she was doing a good job during the photo shoot but I do like her photo that they had. Marissa's outfit was a little too literal for me. There wasn't anything really that outlandish. It just looked like her and she was kind of a clown and it wasn't as avant-garde as the other girls. Corianne nailed it. She looked so good in this outfit, in her photo. Everything about her looked so good. India also did a really good job. I loved her photo, her outfit, her... I love her energy and her personality that she's bringing into the competition. I, I really think she has a chance to go really far. Chris Leanne had this huge black outfit on that I just didn't feel looked good on her. I think that she kind of let the outfit overpower her. She looked short for one and she also kind of like hid into the outfit while she was doing her poses. Um, I do think that she made it a little too sexy in her actual photo that they picked because her hips and all this stuff is going on and all the other girls are kind of more avant-garde, high fashion posing and she's giving us a booty tooch. At panel, the judges are very critical of these girls and this episode was kind of the final straw for me kind of like closing my mouth about it 
There's a difference between giving someone constructive criticism and giving someone just criticism. And I think that right now in this competition, the judges are doing so much critiquing of the girl's personality, their attitude, their clothes. It's just a critique. There is no, you should do this to make it better. There's no lesson being learned from what the judges are saying, especially when they're talking about their outfits. I don't think this worked for you. This is the best you've ever looked. I don't like what you're wearing. There is no constructive criticism on this is what you should have done to make yourself into a model. And that is where my frustration begins with what's going on in the show right now. Gia is a model who knows nothing, she is from a small town in Texas, can't afford to do some of the things these other girls are doing. She came here to learn and to change her life. She is me on this season. That is exactly what I wanted to do on Top Model. And I listened and learned and got constructive criticism back from the judges and was able to develop later on. But Gia, from what we have seen, has not gotten any constructive criticism about what to do to get better. It's all just been, I don't see you being a model. I just think you're a beautiful face. There's nothing that she needs to work on when you say something like that. <sighs> I, I just, I feel that the judges are just really harsh on these girls in ways that they don't need to be. And it's kind of making me angry because all of these girls are trying to change their lives. They're trying to learn, they're trying to improve, they're trying to establish themselves in a very hard industry. I don't feel that they're learning legitimately do not feel that they are learning. There are so many times when uh, Kelly or Miss J or even Tyra or Yusai would tell me little things to fix or little things to change about what I was doing or how I was presenting myself or just anything in general that helped me and I internalize and use later on. But we're not seeing those little tidbits so I don't know if they're happening, one, and I don't feel like the models are getting that learning and that lesson that they need to improve for the future of this competition or life in general for the modeling world. After all is said and done, we go into panel, the judges deliberate, and we have a huge debacle. Rita Ora stops what's going on when the final three are standing in front of her. It's Gia, Kyle, and Chris Leanne. She goes back to the judges table and she says, I think we're making a mistake. I don't think we're making the right decision. I'm sorry, Rita Ora, you have the final say. You definitely should have put your foot down and made that decision because you did make a mistake. That was a huge mistake, sending Gia home and keeping Chris Lee in. Of all cycles of America's Next Top Model, this elimination is the one that will stand out to me forever as being a mistake. A hundred percent a mistake. Not because I love Gia, I do love Gia, but from a competition standpoint, you have someone that is so hungry to learn and wants to be there and you eliminate them from the competition and keep a model who has been in the industry, been doing this and has been up and down, up and down the whole time of this competition and kind of just making excuses about everything that's happened or what's going on for her and you keep her in the competition. For me, it sends a huge message out to the younger generation of if you have a dream, you're working hard to it, hard for it, you can achieve it. That's what I feel in this moment because Gia, was Gia had a dream, she was trying to achieve it and you cut her off just because you didn't think I actually don't know why she was eliminated. I just don't understand. As you can tell, I'm very angry about this. I am really disappointed in all the models that have gone home, honestly. I really think that um, they're kind of cutting people short for their potential and they're not really taking that into consideration. They're kind of just going week by week and not looking at the greater picture. I don't know. I want to know your thoughts though. I'm really curious to know how you feel about this episode, how you feel about Gia leaving. Um, I have nothing against Chris Lee and I have nothing against any of the models, but from a um, competition standpoint, I don't understand what they're doing. Um, I hope that in the future they'll make a little bit better decisions on who to send home. Um, I'm just 
in total shock of what just happened on the show. That's why I filmed this literally right after I watched it. Um, but please comment down below. I want to know what you're feeling. I want to know what you're thinking. I will see you next time for an all new recap of America's Next Top Model episode six, which cross your fingers. We hope it's good. We've already seen a preview. Kyle and Marissa kiss. What? We shall see what happens. I still love Top Model. Don't know how I feel about this season so far. I've walked away from every episode confused and frustrated more so than ever. So we'll see. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Boys in the house. Boys in the house.